Today, I'm standing on the shoulders of giants. Your shoulders. Over the last year or so, this channel has become known for feedback pieces that aim to be impartial, structured, and well-delivered. And whilst the videos themselves have done well, the fact of the matter is that the unsung hero amongst all of them is actually you. Yes, you, the YouTube commenter. The shoulders of the many who have contributed to the conversations by leaving comments underneath my videos, the majority of which have been impartial, structured, well-delivered, and devoid of high emotion and sweeping generalizations. The average YouTube commenter displays high levels of empathy and game knowledge, and can adopt the perspectives of folks whose experiences do not match their own. Our videos, in our community, are no exception to this rule. And yet, I'm the one that gets invited to summits, and not you. That is an injustice of the highest order, and I feel terrible about it. So today, I'm gonna help you get noticed by Bungie. I'm going to share my strategies to help you, the YouTube commenter, to break free from the shackles of the comment section so that you too can make your own videos to get noticed and invited to the adults table. To be hailed as a pillar of the community known for objectively excellent takes that are filled with quotable lines and are highly shareable, enjoyable pieces of content to watch. Before we get into the video, I'd like to take a second to tell you about this video sponsor, Surfshark VPN. By now, I think we're all familiar with what a VPN is and does, but in case you don't know, Surfshark VPN helps protect your identity from malicious attackers and ad trackers from knowing more about you. It's a must-have tool for anyone concerned with their own personal security and privacy. Since nearly all of you watching are gamers, Surfshark VPN's got a couple of features you'll want to incorporate in your gaming life, like hiding your IP address, built-in DDoS protection, and fast speeds of up to one gigabit per second, so you'll never have to worry about your VPN being the reason you can't hit your shots. The VPN itself also allows you to access blocked media and streaming content libraries from different countries. This December, I'll be heading back to Dubai to be with my parents for Christmas, and I'll be damned if I can't watch The Book of Boba Fett on Disney+, Plus, which doesn't have service in the Middle East right now. But with Surfshark VPN, I'll just set it to my native Canada, and I'll be able to see that beautifully restored Mandalorian armor in all of its glory. So head on down to the link in the description below to download your copy of Surfshark VPN. And tell them I said hello by using my code ASCNOMAD. It'll give you 83% off your purchase and three months free. Seriously. A big thank you to Surfshark for reaching out and sponsoring this video. Now, let's get back to it. When it comes to the folk Bungie listen to, they're usually known for something. Datto is known for PvE and raid guides, Glad is also a hardcore PvE main, Pattycakes is a PvP main with a generalist FPS perspective, and I'm known for having the best voice out of all of them. Let me demonstrate by saying the name of everyone's favourite anti-barrier exotic, Ariana's Vow. See? No, but seriously, if you'd like to give Bungie feedback that's worth listening to, you have to champion a particular branch of destiny. You could be into Lost Sectors, Survival, Raids, Control, or even Gambit. You don't have to be the best in the world talking about that thing, but you should know what you're talking about. And as a commenter on YouTube, there's no finer group of people that know what they're talking about. So you have already got a head start over the Redditors and the middle-aged unhappily married men on Facebook spending their work days on a common thread being angry about stasis. So let's say you've gone and done the legwork and got a lot of experience about your chosen thing. That's great. How do you get Bungie to listen to you? Well, as any good lemonade stand entrepreneur would tell you, it's about location, location, location. Where do Bungie have their eyes? The truth is, they do monitor nearly every single place on the internet where Destiny discussion happens, but some places have more credence than others. In terms of giving feedback, my top three places would be one, YouTube, two, Reddit, three, Twitter, and four, the Bungie.net forums. YouTube is home to the largest content presence out of all of them, and everyone knows it. Despite what people may say about Twitch and how influential streamers can be, most of them don't have a good YouTube channel because most of them cannot be bothered. They set up teams to handle the YouTube side for them, and even then it's just mostly stream highlights. To be influential, truly, truly influential, you need to be a YouTuber. There's no object permanence on Twitch. The second you stop streaming, you cease to exist. And Bungie employees aren't going to traipse through a five-hour VOD, 
nor will they be online when you are. At least with YouTube, your videos last forever, and there's a nifty algorithm to help you get discovered. And since the big streamers are too busy over on the inferior platform, where you should totally come and hang out with me, by the way, twitch.tv forward slash nomad, what better way to take advantage of the influence vacuum than to become a YouTuber yourself? In this off season, all the big dogs are napping, and it's the perfect time for you to shine. So now that you've logged into your YouTube account and revamped the channel, let's talk about the top five characteristics that your feedback pieces need in order to get Bungie to listen to you. By the way, great job on the anime channel banner. What a wonderfully unique way to express yourself. Number one, be brutally honest. Nobody likes apologists. People like straight shooters. The sort of people who aren't afraid to say what's on their mind no matter how wrong the room is to say it in. For example, I don't think Aunt Shirley has the best sense of fashion. Look at her now in the open casket. What a terrible outfit. Don't be afraid to tell the world what you really think. Go out and say that the people who run recubs are lonely virgins. Shout about the fact that sniping is free on controller. Let loose the hellfire of truth and watch the normies react. If they respond with anything, you're doing something right. Number two, dial up the volume. There's not much point to airing out your grievances, I mean your opinions, if you do it quietly. One of the absolutely incredible tools that I've used in the last few years of perfecting my craft is a website called thesaurus.com. Every time I want to use emphasis on any particular word or sentence, I plug the whole sentence in here and see what works best. Sometimes the sentence doesn't work and you have to move on. But when it does work, oh my deities, does it just ever absolutely decapitate the banquet hall? The response is always superfluous. Number three, look out for number one. Always, always, always consider the human when giving feedback. And that human is you. The game is there to please you. If it doesn't please you, it's not a good game. Obviously, naysayers will say something like, play a different game. But those people are ignorant to the realities of what being a Destiny player truly means. We are all hopelessly addicted, enslaved to the magic of GFG or Gun Feel Good. And thus, when you become a player of Destiny and you stick with it, you are bound to it. And this is by design. Bungie have made a game that seeks to addict you into playing more. You are chemically bound to this game, which is insidious and malicious. So when giving feedback, make sure you let your feelings know. You are a slave to this game, and it is important to rage against that machine. If you are shackled and chained, you may as well be shackled and chained to a good time. Grenade launchers are not a good time for you and they need to hear that. Number four, amplify with like-minded people. Of course, shouting into the void isn't really gonna get you anywhere. Like with anything, apes together strong. And strong you must be with the monk if you want to be heard. My advice would be to join every creator's Discord server that you can find and do your best to figure out what sort of communities they run. If they're positive, inclusive, and generally a happy time, avoid them. As the pharmaceutical and beauty industry knows, happy people are generally not good repeat customers. They have balance over their lives, and that's not really the crowd you want to attract, especially since there's a lot of topics you want to be giving your opinion on. Though, no matter where you go, be prepared for someone to try and call you out for being negative. But that's when you hit them with the timeless, the classic, I'm just passionate about this game, bro. I just wanted to succeed. Number five, mask off. Spread it far and wide. YouTube, Reddit, Twitter, Bungie.net, in that order. You need active accounts on every single platform. For the forums, you need to abide by the rules and make sure you establish a little bit of a post history before you become Destiny's next great speaker. But let's be real. All the influence there doesn't mean anything if you're only just there. Once you've found a rhythm and your audience, amplify it everywhere. Create a Discord server, get on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and hell, even stream your tirades on Twitch. Do everything and anything to get your followers as passionate as you are. Host Q&As. Create a show where you sit at a desk in front of a green screen and start ranting. Go the full nine yards. Full send this motherfucker. You are the Delta variant, and you're about to make things real interesting just when people were starting to know what's what. 
Go make the world your oyster. And number six, get personal on Twitter. If all else fails, make your video, then tag the developers personally. If you've been following along and haven't caught on to the fact that this entire video is a joke, then let me stop you right there. Everything that I've said so far is the textbook definition of what not to do to be taken seriously. If you do a single one of these in any way, you're blacklist material. The way a lot of people give feedback comes from an inherently selfish place, and they fail to realize that what they want or think is not necessarily how game design works, nor would it be good for the player base as a whole. There are far more intelligent ways to express yourself other than saying, this is shit, or does anyone playtest this? And from Bungie's perspective, they will never waste their time listening to the feedback of someone who demonstrates no clear understanding of the problem and has no real empathy for the common player. When giving feedback, you must identify the problem and suggest a solution. Some problems don't have solutions, but you must try. Only by being constructive can we all move forward. We can certainly dream about what we want, sure, but we can't forget that it's not just about us. Also, we're not privy to the ins and outs of developing for Bungie, so we don't know what's actually possible, but we play the game collectively a lot more than they're physically able to. And often, we can see the issues develop in front of our own eyes faster than they can, which makes it all the more important that we bring up these issues in a polite and constructive way. The greatest compliment that Bungie can be given is the development of a fanbase that really truly cares about the game they play. We are stubborn, opinionated, and absolutely delusional at times, but we are loyal to a T. And when we get together to talk about things in a progressive way, we can ideate and come up with great ideas that are well structured and well fleshed out. And when we develop that idea into something tangible, like a feedback post or a video, or even a stream, only then will Bungie be inclined to listen to what we have to say. And if you're looking for a community to help you see the game more positively, to get better at giving feedback and talking about all things Destiny, well, I'm only too happy to have you in the tribe. Link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. I'm a Senna Nomad, and please, be excellent to each other. Cheers.